And I'm telling you, 2024 is going to mirror the, the art of the comeback. It will be the greatest comeback in history. And the it- father was on, he's been on a bunch, obviously, but it was a while ago. And I said, you know, Mr. President, I get the feeling, and if I'm wrong, correct me, but I get the feeling that of all the times you ran, you're about to win your third consecutive primary. He's obviously won it since. I said, I feel like you want this one the most. I said, I feel like 2016, you were like, am I really going to win this? I feel like 2020, you expected to win it. But I really feel like this time, because of what happened to you in 2020 and the beating you've taken for eight years, you want this the most. And he said to me, he goes, you know, Sid, I never really thought about it. He goes, but I think you're right. I think I want this one the most. Does Eric Trump feel the same way? I, I do, Sid. You know, I, I rarely say this, um, but I'm, I'll, I'll say it now. Um, my father wrote two great books right back in the day, you know, The Art of the Deal and The Art of the Comeback. And, you know, so much of, of 2016 mirrored The Art of the Deal. One of the greatest, you know, books ever written, you yep. know, business books ever written. Yep. And I'm telling you, 2024 is going to mirror the, the art of the comeback. It will be the greatest comeback in history. And if, if you look at so many of the things he talks about, never give up, never get in, you know, stick to your convictions, never stop working, never lose the momentum. And, you know, if you really kind of take that and apply it to, to politics, right, and it's kind of hard to believe that, you know, those books were written 25 years ago, but you apply it to politics. I mean, I, I really believe that that story, the art of the comeback is, is um you know, is, is in you know, full effect and in full force right now. And I think we're going to see it again. And, um, you know, the, the movement's never been stronger. People's love has never been stronger. People love this country. I mean, people, people love this country and people love him. I can't get on a plane without people coming up to me, you know, half the time with tears in their eyes, passing mm-hmm. me little napkins. We love you. You know, here's my lucky you know, a lady yeah. came up to me yesterday, right before our event. You know, gave me her lucky dollar bill. She's had this bill. It was, you know, it was a, a long, sad story in her life, but has had this bill. She goes, I, I want you to have this. I want your family to have this. Please pass this off to your to your father. This is my lucky one dollar bill. And it's been with me everywhere. And you know, every time I've looked at it, it's, yeah. I, I mean, it, it, the love wow. is unbelievable. Yeah. This transcends politics. It, Agreed. This, this is this is so much more. This is this is a republic. I, I, no politician has this following. And. Um, it's because he doesn't he doesn't need this job. I mean, he's doing it for all the right reasons, whereas everybody else in Washington, D.C., half of them are scumbags and half of them are doing it for you know, three quarters of them are doing it for the wrong reasons. So, uh, no, I'm incredibly proud of the man and I will fight by his side every day and on the business side, obviously, and on the political side when he needs me. And um, you'll see me a lot on TV. And it's an honor to be with you. I consider you a great friend and uh, oh, you've just been the greatest. You. Uh, thank and you, I'm man. Honored, I- I'm honored to have you be the second husband 